who wouldn't want a tiny machine that can replace a desktop computer? I think everyone would. So in this video, I'm going to show you one. Stick with me. All right, this is going to be a quick video. I don't want to drag it out. I wrote an article about this machine. And you can find the link to it in the video description. You'll find test results there. In this video, we'll do an unboxing. I'll go over the specs, show you the machine from the inside, briefly share my experiences. And of course, at the end, I'll tell you the price. So let's get to the unboxing. There isn't too much inside the box. A HDMI cable, a power adapter, a Visa mount so you can screw it onto the back of your monitor and a manual, nothing else, just the machine itself. So let's take a look at it from the outside. The casing is made entirely of aluminum, top and bottom. And that's great, not just because it looks brilliant and not just because it has a premium feel when you hold it, but also because this aluminum casing actually helps with cooling the hardware. By the way, the machine is roughly 10, 10 and a half by 10 and a half centimeters and three and a half centimeters high. So we're talking about a really tiny little machine. There are plenty of ports. On the front, we find two USB-A ports and the power button. On the back, we find a headphone jack, two HDMI ports, an Ethernet port, two more USB-A ports and a USB-C. So we're definitely well equipped with ports. There are cooling vents on the side and back of the machine. And well, that's about it. I think the look says it all. It really looks awesome. Okay, so what about the hardware inside? Well, the processor is a Ryzen 57432U, which has six physical cores and can handle 12 threads. It also has an RX Vega 7 GPU, which has seven cores. The processor's maximum clock speed is 4.3 gigahertz, and the GPU's is 1800 megahertz. So those are some pretty good specs and some pretty good hardware they've packed into this machine. What you also need to know is that it has 16 gigabytes of memory and a 512 gigabyte SSD for storage. So I think it's equipped with everything you need to get work done. Of course, I also took the machine apart to see what it's like on the inside. Now, regarding the hardware layout and the internals, there are a few things that I'm not a huge fan of. The first is the memory. The thing is, it has a single 16 gigabyte module inside. This means that, unfortunately, the memory only runs in single channel mode, which seriously limits the bandwidth available to the GPU. And, uh, well, this cost-saving measure does hold back the machine's performance a bit. So if you want to take full advantage of the GPU, it's definitely worth adding another memory module to get that dual channel performance. The other thing I didn't like about this machine is that they place the Wi-Fi module under the SSD. However, the SSD's cooling isn't properly implemented, so that's two issues then. The Wi-Fi module probably shouldn't be there because it gets a bit hot, and in turn it heats up the SSD as well. And above the SSD, inside the case, there's only a single thermal pad, and they could have used a longer one, or two of them, so it could dissipate heat from the entire surface of the SSD, transferring it to the casing. So I think these are, well, not great things, but actually both are very easy to fix except for the Wi-Fi module because you won't be able to move that. But you can solve the cooling issue if you buy a self-adhesive thermal pad and if you buy another memory module, you'll have your dual channel. So these aren't critical issues. By the way, I think the machine looks just as good on the inside as it does on the outside. The soldering, the PCB, and just everything else looks perfect. It's very well put together. So I don't think there will be any problems with that. From what I saw, the mounting of the connectors is also good, so I don't think there will be any issues with those either. They won't break off the PCB prematurely. The machine can definitely be called high quality, both inside and out. We can now move on to my experiences with it. Well, perhaps the most important thing is that you absolutely need to know that although it has an integrated VGA, this RX Vega 7 GPU is light years ahead of the old Intel integrated GPUs. And this means that with this machine and this processor, you can certainly not only work, but also play games. But of course, this gaming has its limits, just as the work you can do on it will have its limits. By default, as you get the machine, it's perfectly sufficient for general office work or home use. It plays 4K YouTube videos brilliantly. You can manipulate images, work in Excel, work in Word. You can open a thousand Chrome tabs and you won't have any problem. So it's absolutely perfect for these tasks. What it's not perfect for, however, is gaming and, well, more computationally demanding programs. Of course, a test and a review mean nothing without me telling you how much the machine costs, because if they were selling this for, say, 200,000 forints, I couldn't recommend it to anyone but they're not selling it for that much. What a surprise, but for less than half of that. Because right now, due to the Black Friday sales, we can get this machine for 91,000 forints. If you like it, you'll find the link in the video description where you can buy it. 
and the coupon code will be there too which makes this 91,000 forint price available and if you like this video then choose from the other two videos appearing next to me now then watch those as well obviously subscribe to my channel if you like the video and come back because I'll be back soon with another review until then all the best